is a huge gap in the front end development space. And what I mean by that is right now, there's three ways to get up a website that people can use on the internet. First way is through the old school way, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. The second way will be with the new AI tools that are coming out like bolt.dev, lovable, versal. And then the third way is through the no to low code solutions such as Webflow, Framer, Wix Studio, which have been around for a while now. Now, each one of these has its own uh, positive and negative. So in the case of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, the positive is that you know, once you've typed all that stuff out, you own it. You can host that wherever you want. It's not a big deal. Now, the negative to that part is there's a lot of time and skill involved in learning HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And also another negative is if you're trying to do a lot of complex interactions and animations, it's very slow to iterate through code in JavaScript and typing that out in like Visual Studio Code. So it's, it's, it's a slow, and cumbersome process, but you get to own and host wherever you want. Now, the other option, such as the AI tools, such as bolt.dev, lovable, and all those, is yeah, it's awesome. You can type out a little prompt. You can even feed it uh, some of these tools like lovable, a Figma document. But here's the problem what they produce is typically cookie cutter at best. You're not going to get a landing page of this level spit out with just a single prompt like in bolt.dev. So if you have any type of project that's anything more than just a simple CRUD app, you know, a boilerplate app, then you don't want to use these tools. So that leaves us with the load to no code option. So what are the positives and negatives about that? Well, the positive is you don't have to code. You don't have to learn all this coding. And also another positive is it's faster. I can, I can create a landing page uh, based on a Figma template way faster in a no to low code environment than I would through typing out HTML and CSS and JavaScript. Uh, and that's something I've done for almost two decades now. And it's still faster to use those no to low code tools. So it's fast and efficient. And it makes experimenting with animations and interactions funner. Now the big problem, and this is really the crux of the issue and why I made this video is with these no to low code tools, it's the hosting, you know, it's the pricing structure that we have to deal with in order to access these great in browser tools for building layouts. Now, if I show you some of these screenshots, I'm going to put them up here from Reddit. You're going to see whether it's Webflow or Framer or any of the other ones. There's a lot of people who are just unhappy with the pricing models. So every website that you want to publish, you must pay a monthly fee for. Now, what I envision as a middle ground, an ultimate solution for all of this is a tool that I've not built. I don't think I would be capable of building it just as a one person team is something like Framer, except it's open source, except you can self host. I would have no problem personally paying 300, 400, $500, $1,000 for a piece of software that I own. And then I can choose to use those projects as I wish. Now, yes, with tools like Framer, you can export the code, but then you don't get to use the actual editor anymore. So you kind of take it out of the equation. What I would love to see is a tool that you can just install on your computer. You can host locally and you can use the awesome built in layout controls, the GUI that replaces the necessity to have to type hand type code and everything, but you just own it outright. You pay a one time fee and that's it. Now I would even be okay with a subscription model for this, but just for the software, not for every single website that I would like to see produced. So let me know what you think. There is a tool called web studio, but right now they don't have components and there's no interactions and animations ability, although they plan on that. I, I wish somebody would build this tool. I would love to be a part of a team that builds perhaps just the UI part of that tool. And maybe I'll do that as a fun project in Figma, just to mock up what I envision a tool would look like. For instance, it would absolutely have to have a, at least as good as a layout building a structure to it as Framer, because I think they handle that part the best. 
Um, it would also need to have all the scroll animations and interactions, you know, the green sock like stuff baked within the UI and easy to use UI. And I think Framer does a great job of that as well. And then additionally, what would be really awesome is if they could also have built in shader effects so that you can integrate those 3JS like crazy shader effects. Now there's Unicorn Studio that's built specific to that purpose, but it's not really a comprehensive tool where you can just you know, own it outright and be able to do everything in one tool. So I just wanted to get that off my chest. That's the gap that I see right now. And I think once there, once a tool, somebody takes the initiative of building such a tool, they're going to be very successful because I think that's what most de designers and developers want right now.